Hey there, today we're diving into a fascinating world where microbiology, neuroscience, and mental health collide. Talk about a multidisciplinary adventure. Imagine your gut microbiota that has tiny, bustling communities that do way more than just digest food. They're increasingly linked to your mood, emotions, and even behavior. Your gut-brain connection is not just a theory, it's a growing field exploring how microbes and their metabolites influence your mental well-being. Scientists are exploring the possibility of using dietary interventions think prebiotics, probiotics, and even targeted antibiotics to help manage mental health disorders. These strategies aim to modulate your gut microbiome, which produces hormones, neurotransmitters, and immune cytokines that can impact your mood and cognition. The enteric nervous system, often called your second brain, works alongside hormones and neurotransmitters to regulate digestion, emotion, and behavior. Micronutrients include methyl donors support these processes, helping maintain cellular membrane integrity, nucleotide synthesis, and even pathways like transliteration. All these molecular leaks influence your neurobiology, impacting everything from neurotransmitter synthesis to stress responses. Sometimes the brain gets a little too excited enter the kindling hypothesis, which explains how repeated stressors where seizures can lead to a heightened neurosensitivity, kind of like a snowball effect. This concept is linked to phenomena like electrophysiological kidney, behavioral sensitization, and neuroplastic changes that can result in episodic or progressive neurobiological alterations. Think of it as the brain's way of learning to overreact, which can contribute to conditions like epilepsy, mood disorders, or psych psychosis. Oxidative stress, sleep disturbances, and neuro real abnormalities further complicate this picture, often seen in neurodegenerative and psychiatric conditions. Metabolomics, a large-scale study of metabolites, helps us understand these complex biochemical shifts, giving us the snapshot of what's happening inside the brain and body. In the realm of disorders, uh, like eating disorders, psychotic disorders, depression, substance use issues, neurodevelopmental changes, and anxiety disorders, all of these may involve neurobiological alterations, second messenger systems, dysregulation, and ion channel dysfunction. The, on the behavioral side, behaviors like psychomotor stimulation or convulsive abnormalities can be part of the puzzle, especially when considering models like post tectonic potentiation, which shows how neural circuits strengthen or weaken over time. As research continues to unravel this intricate web, the hope is that understanding these interconnected systems will open doors to new personalized therapies, maybe even microbiota-based ones that can help us better manage and prevent mental health conditions. It's a rapidly evolving story reminding us that our brain, gut, and microbes are all part of one big fascinating team.